We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. It was a murder in the full light of day, and it ripped the blinders off for the whole world to see. It is the verdict heard around the world tonight. What is next for the former police officer found guilty of murdering George Floyd? The debate over license plate readers heats up tonight. Some say this technology will only increase racial tension, but others say it is necessary. A murder shakes a small Tennessee town tonight. We are learning what a neighbor was doing when he was killed on his own property. And here comes the rain followed by the snow for some and much colder temperatures. I've got the breakdown coming up. Now, News 2 at 10. Guilty on all counts, but the fate of Derek Chauvin is far from being determined. Welcome to News 2 at 10. I'm Bob Mueller. Former Minnesota police officer Derek Chauvin was found guilty of the murder of George Floyd today. We know he will not be sentenced for another eight weeks. Right now, he is at a correctional facility. Minneapolis celebrated well until the night. This now a live picture from George Floyd Plaza in the city. You can see a candlelight vigil taking place as we speak. ABC's Rena Roy reports this verdict could change how policing takes place in America. America was watching and listening closely as Judge Peter Cahill read the verdict so many have been praying for. We the jury in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin convicted of second degree murder, third degree murder, and second degree manslaughter, silent and stoic as he was cuffed and taken back into custody. <laughs> right outside, though, the cheers echoing loud throughout the streets of a city that's been hurting for nearly a year now. <laughs> George Floyd's family breathing a sigh of relief. Today, we are able to breathe again. Just because you are a law, you're not above the law. President Biden saying this verdict is a step in the right direction. No one should be above the law. And today's verdict sends that message. But it's not enough. We can't stop here. In order to deliver real change and reform, we can and we must do more to reduce the likelihood that tragedies like this will ever happen and occur again. The jury of seven women and five men, which included six people of color, stayed late Monday night and came in early Tuesday morning. They worked swiftly and didn't send out a single question during their ten and a half hours of deliberations. Are these your verdicts? So say you one, so say you all. Yes. yes. They listened to nearly three weeks of powerful testimony from 45 witnesses and came to the conclusion that Chauvin's actions did, in fact, kill George Floyd. Chauvin's bail was remanded and he will remain in a jail cell until he faces a judge yet again for sentencing on all three charges in about two months. Rena Roy, ABC News, Minneapolis. Today's verdict immediately drew reaction not only in Minnesota, but from across the country. Urban and rural communities of communities of color all tuned in to see how the jury would decide Derek Chauvin's fate. Well-known voices in Tennessee also shared opinions on social media moments after the verdict was read. Democratic Congressman Jim Cooper tweeting succinctly, guilty on all counts, hashtag justice for George Floyd is served. GOP Congressman Mark Green with a longer response. Here is some of what he wrote. Derek Chauvin had 17 misconduct investigations before he took the life of George Floyd. It's clear Chauvin's actions were sickening and irrefutable. He was a bad cop. However, Chauvin is no reflection of the vast majority of men and women in blue who protect our freedoms. And Metro Police Chief John Drake shared a statement today saying it was abundantly clear to me last May that what happened to George Floyd in Minnesota was an atrocious crime committed by a police officer. I hope today's verdict also creates momentum for communities and law enforcement to meaningfully work together. We want to know, do you agree with the verdict in the Derek Chauvin trial? You can weigh in on our online poll at WKRN.com. You can find it on the right-hand side of our website.